What's going on guys? Chaos here bringing you another video and today you're going to be looking at my desk. Now that's obviously not what the entire video is going to be about. But basically about 10 days ago I ordered a Scuf gaming controller because uh, I'm afraid this old controller is getting a little bit worn as you can see the control freaks, the phantoms I have uh, basically because I'm an AR slayer long range gunfights and it's been a it's been a a good controller to be honest but this is the standard PlayStation controller let's see take the label off I don't really care blue LED but the controller is starting to get a little bit weary every time I'm playing it sometimes drifts me off to the right without me even touching the controller kind of gets a little bit annoying so I decided to get a new controller instead of just getting a normal controller because I'm going to be doing playing a lot more Call of Duty I decided to get myself a scuff controller so, ta-da! That's a scuff controller. So, we're basically just going to be running through what's inside the box, what I ordered. Um, like I said, I've already been through the box, so I'm just going to quickly take the control freaks off this old controller because I haven't bought some control. F I haven't bought any scuff um, analog scuffs, but basically because I like using this set of uh, control freaks. They're really comfortable, in my opinion. So, there you go. They're a little bit uh, scrubby. I think I could probably give them a bit of a wash. But, uh, let's basically see what we have in here. So, as you can see, straight away, I bought a case. I intend on going to lands. So, I decided to buy myself a case for um, the controller, as you can see. Ugh, if I can get it open, unzips. As you can see, nothing really inside, just a case. Blue rimming at the end. Kind of hard. Doesn't really, it's like a really hard fabric, but basically, case, you don't really understand the concept. Basically, thing goes in there. Put it over, zip it up. Ta da! Simple as. Oh, I dropped my case. Well, that's a perfect way to start. Um, so, yep. Awesome case. Awesome. Rubbish. Don't need it. Get rid of it. Um, now we've got the actual scuff itself. Now it's so tightly packed in the box, I'm actually going to have to turn this upside down. Here we go. That's the back of it. But here is the, uh, the scuff itself. This is his boxing, as you can see. Get a bit of a closer look. Professional controller for PS4. Elite engineering. Powerful precision. Full hand control. Victory. I like that last word. Victory. I'm always wanting victory. And the side. I better. And, and see the way I've set my camera up. The only way to like make sure it like points down. Is it's sort of looking down. But like that way. Let's try and use my hand symbols. That way. So I'm like holding everything. Because I'm standing over here. So, I'm just trying to make sure that I get it all in frame, so... Scuffology, what is this actually say? I've never actually read this. The Scuff Behind for Pro Gaming. Eye, Brain, Hand, Controller. Seems to be right. Uh, at the bottom, just contact Scuff stuff. At the back, you've actually got the Scuff Pad, you got a picture of the actual Scuff, so... you got your grips here, your Scuff Paddles, your EMR, right there, and, uh, what else? Totally re engineered scuff pack. Fair enough. So let's put this out. Just more rubbish. Don't really need it. I'd rather keep it in case something goes wrong. Now we just got simple white box. This is the scuff controller, you know, you play with like this. You know. That's just how it goes. Yeah. You put your control freaks. You know you control that's the new scuff controller right there. <laughs> For those of you who have laughed, then you need to get a good sense of humour. And if those of you who don't, good job, you like good jokes. So here, I've written it upside down, is the glory itself. The scuff controller. I bought most of the stuff extra with it, so I intend on keeping this scuff controller. So, we'll just carefully take this out. And uh, there you go. So I've gotten for the red digital camo. So I'm going to take you through what I've purchased on the, uh, the scuff to allow you to understand really what I've actually got here. So we'll just start at the front. As you can see, the buttons are all blacked out. I like the feel of new buttons. Feel a little bit different. Sounds like a much 
deeper, deeper um, feel to it. Like, it turns darker. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, standard controls, obviously. Where have I put my scruffs? Uh, not my scruff. I'm gonna. I keep getting scruff and control feet mixed up. Um, obviously, you can put them on there. I'm not gonna do that for just now. I need to clean them first before I put them on the Zenu controller. Um, touchpad, not really ch change, change much. It's still black. Um, chair button, option button, just standard stuff. Here is the control disc. Basically, it, this allows for accurate usage of your analog buttons. So when you're playing it like this, and you want, usually I usually use these for like sport and fighting games because I much prefer to use this than using this to control because I feel I feel I'm more, far more accurate uh, doing that rather than that. So um, nothing else at the bottom. Obviously, you got your red digital camo. Feels kind of nice to have a new controller, but that's just something with a new controller. Kind of like a scratchy feeling. If we turn it to the side here, we got trigger extenders. A lot of people don't really know what these are for. It's a shame to use. These are not trigger stoppers. These are trigger extenders. I don't use trigger stops on my controller purely because A, I don't use single fire weapons a lot, and B, it messes with Destiny, and I love Destiny, and I don't really want to use two controllers. So, trigger extenders, basically, if you're holding your controller, you want full control of your trigger. Use two fingers for each trigger. As you can see there. Why people have these and just use this? I don't know. There's a reason why these are extended. These are known as the fangs, if you're interested. Uh, R1, L1 button, not changed. Um, going to the top here, again, still normal LED. Nothing's changed with the LED. This is what makes a scuff a scuff. Scuff paddles, as you see, scuff pro. These scuff paddles, if you don't know what they really do, basically, they are remapped buttons from these. So, I think this one, no, nope, it's this one. So, the whole point in scuffs, the whole point in scuff paddles is basically because a lot of people find that when they're playing their game, they always, when they want to like jump shot or drop shot, they have to take their thumb off to use the buttons. The whole point in scuff paddles, your hand is already positioned in such a way, your hands, already had touched the paddles and your buttons are already there which means you can have full control over your game whilst using the paddles so the left one here standard so the left one here it's the x and this one it's the circle so when i press this uses that button and i press this uses that button you can get a thing called electromagnetic remapping or emr for short basically you got a little magnet you put on this thing becomes a magnet, you hold that, and you hold whatever button you want to remap. So, for instance, triangle. Use it. After, I think, 10 seconds or so, this will now be active as your triangle button. Scuff messed up my order. I have the EMR inside the controller. I don't have the key. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. I really hope. It's already been sent out. But, yeah, that is the scuff controller. It's pretty neat, isn't it? And in case you're interested... The trigger extenders do come off, if I can take this one off, there we go. And we'll unzip our case, so if I'm going to lands or something, this is the controller. And, if I can get it open, the scuff controller is very much used for pros. You will find most, pretty much 90% of pros will use a scuff controller. And there you go, your scuff controller is inside. No buttons can be pressed. It's pretty safe. You reach your LAN, open out your case, take your scuff out. You put your trigger extenders on. There we go. That's not on properly. There we go. And then you game all day. So yeah, basically, that's the scuff controller. Just gonna take those off for now. There's my old controller and my new controller. Kinda happy that I got a scuff. 
play too long with that one. Uh, we're just going to quickly pop these on just to see what it looks like. Obviously, I'm going to give these a clean because they really don't look nice. I mean, if you look at this one, it's got horrible stuff on it. Where's the camera? There it is. You see all the ink stuff on it? Is the camera focusing? I don't think it is. You're going to have to take my word for it. It's filthy. Let's just put it that way. It's filthy! I can't even get it on. Oh, help me. Help me, ma. Oh, heavens. Come on. There you go. There we go. Ta-da! Look at that. Now I have full control of everything. Now. I can now practice far more efficiently. And of course, this came... A day before Black Ops 3, but I had to send it. Um, I had to wait for the ER AMR to see if they'd send it. So, for those of you who watched my re most recent video, that was my last video with this controller. Now, I'm now going to go play with my new scuff. Because that's what you do when you get a new controller or a new game. You play it days on end. So, I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, or even just kind of liked the video then please make sure to press the like button because it really does, uh, it helps me out. Uh, I love hearing feedback from you guys. And, uh, yeah. There it is. I'm going to put it down there. Granted, the camera is like miles away, but it'll do. So, anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel because a ton of Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 has come out. I am super, super, duper stoked for the release of Black Ops 3. It's finally here. I am going to be playing it. My next video, I believe, will be Shadows of Evil with my good friend Robbie. I hope. If it's not, that video will be coming. So you can look forward to it. And it will all be played on this scuff controller. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Mr. Cooper 2. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. How do I do this? Bye. I just... That looks really wrong. Let's just... Dramatically go. And I can't press the stop recording button because it's underneath the fridge. God damn it. This is not worth it. I should have thought this through. This is so embarrassing. God damn it. I can't press it. <laughs>